so thanks everyone for attending our monthly session. We're kicking off the ACPRA seminars again and we are very, very fortunate to have Elizabeth Patton from the MindFrame team at Every Mind, who is going to give us a session today on the MindFrame initiatives and some updates. So many of us who work in the PR and journalism education space are quite familiar with these materials, but some are not as familiar or, um, as others. And so certainly uh, the intent here is to um, promulgate the information with the view that our students uh, within the PR and journalism space uh, can be better supported and better informed about um, reporting on mental health and suicide. So I'll hand over to Elizabeth. The session is being recorded and will be made available to um, anyone interested on the Act Press YouTube channel with some caveats that there is some sensitive information in this presentation uh, based on some real case studies about uh, problematic communication. So over to you, Elizabeth. Lovely. I'll just share my slides so you can all see them. We'll see how that goes. How's that? That's great. Thanks. Everyone can see. Okay, so um, just to get started, um, we like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which I'm actually presenting the webinar, which is the uh, Wabakal country. Um, we also like to um, acknowledge the voice of lived experience as well. So um, those with lived experience who are um, listening or watching um, and those who have actually um, helped in the um, development of the MindFrame guidelines. Uh, so I'd like to start just by um, offering um, a, a really quick look at some of the support services that are on offer. We know that this kind of content can be um, problematic for some people. So um, it's worthwhile just knowing that there are some services there, including 24-7 helplines available if you need them or if the video um, brings up some issues for you. Um, we also just want to um, do a little bit of duty of care that if there is discussion um, after uh, the webinar or um, you're talking to someone about um, the MindFrame guidelines, just to be aware to follow those guidelines even in your conversations or discussion in the classroom, for instance, um, and that uh, we tend not to encourage things like um, uh, personal experience discussions just because often that can lead into some problematic areas, uh, but there are um, services available uh, if you do need them. So just generally, Every Mind is a uh, national institute that works on um, the promotion of uh, mental health and well-being and reducing suicide and mental ill health for Australians. And one of the programs that we work on is the MindFrame program. And it um, is mainly focusing on media and how media communicate. But we work across quite a few areas uh, that actually um, do communicate in lots of different ways. So um, we aim to provide leadership in this area, um, as well as build the capabilities across quite a few sectors. Uh, what I'm going to do on this slide is just to show you some of the actual areas that MindFrame works in. So, um, like I mentioned before, we do work with um, the news media directly and public 